Good Thursday morning, everyone. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer, the Dow falling below 22,000. Jim, let's start with retail earnings. Some solid results from Macy's and Kohl's. Yeah, look, it's a down day, so people aren't paying enough attention to it. Macy's is at the beginning of a turn. Uh, it doesn't. It takes a long time to turn a battleship, and that's what they are. But I think Gannett is going to do it. I feel that he has got a, a game plan. He's spending to make the stores look better. Uh, I think that we're going to hear. We have to hear more about the cash flow. Kohl's was up too big ahead of the quarter, mm. so therefore it comes in. I think you want to be in the quarter. It's all about the trajectory. Mm. The trajectory is good for these situations. Do not give up on these. The time to give up on them was 40 and 50 and 60 and 70 for Macy's. Mm. At 22, it's getting interesting. What do you think about the trajectory for J.C. Penney, which reports on Friday? No, I, I'm not. You know, last quarter was uh, was not bad, but they they don't have the balance sheet that I want. Mm. Also, a uh, Blue Apron revenue beat. How about that? No, the revenue didn't. Revenue was way bad. Uh, it, it, it's been down, down, down. We were looking for a much better revenue number, uh, and they didn't do it. Uh, and they also, by the way, the revenues have declined quarter over quarter rather ra rather rapidly. Uh, there's just no there there. Um, Everyone's still holding their breath, though, for Amazon's meal kit service. Well, I mean, I, look, I, I think Amazon, when they finish the tie-up with Whole Foods, it, that will be the coup de gras for uh, Blue Apron. All right, another IPO. Uh, Canada Goose had a nice quarter. Yeah, no, Canada Goose is one that we like very much. This was not a consequential quarter, and yet they still did well. Uh, this is an outfit that hasn't even gone international yet. They offer great value. We've been behind it from the day it came public when no one else was. We're standing by it. Hey Jim, you spoke about Simerex Energy on your AAP call yesterday, which was fantastic. Thank you. But the earnings call took place during it. So what did you learn from the earnings I call? I learned that, th that they put on a clinic, too. Uh, what they did was basically tell you, listen, we're not going to just give you these ridiculous projections from one well. You do a parent well, then you do many other wells, and then you find out how well things are going. They're, not, they're spending within their means. They've got unbelievable properties. They are the only ones that got production up and cost down. That's why it's the best of all the Permian. All right, Jim, on Swag in the Street, you talked about Chicago Bridge and Iron. They cut their I'm dividend. I'm very concerned about CBI and their balance sheet. They're involved with some projects that are real, nuclear projects. They bought Shaw. It was a disaster. They're involved with some big overruns in LNG. Uh, they are, uh, what I would tell you, still in the danger zone. All right, Jim, you have a really interesting play for Millennials Live Nation as you're talking about real money. Yeah, Live Nation is a company that uh, if you want to reach Millennials and you're a sponsor, the best way to go is to a concert. Uh, even better than sports, by the way, I think that those ratios of how much they put in sports versus how much they put in concerts is going to change. This was a break, breakout call. Uh, Michael Orpino has been doing this stuff very quietly. No one's been paying any attention to him. Suddenly at 40, they're paying attention to him. Keep an eye on that stock. It's a good one. All right, and then staying with millennials, we have Snap reporting results after the bell. Yeah, I mean, look, Snap blew it. Uh, maybe they can make a comeback. Maybe they can. But a lot of millennials are buying the stock because they like the product. I mean, what do you think of that strategy? Do homework. Yeah. Um, let's also talk about Goldman Sachs. They're unveiling a personality test for interns. What did yeah, you think Yeah, I mean, of that? look, they, you know, Goldman Sachs was always the hardest place to get a job at. It took me uh, five different times to come down to be able to finally get to the point where they offered me a job. Uh, this would be easy if they did that. I mean, I think that the personality tests are, um, it's a little silly. Uh, but whatever it makes, takes to be able to, to narrow the number of candidates, because everybody wants to work there, uh, of course, they really want to work at Facebook and Google, but if you want to be in finance, you still want to work at Goldman, even though the quarter really wasn't that exceptional. All right, Jim, it is a big day for your dog, Everest, and video reporting yeah, earnings. It's very big, and obviously, <laughs> if they miss, I'm going to have to trade the dog in. I can't just rename him because it's going to start getting his head to spin. Uh, NVIDIA's down ahead of the quarter uh, because of the overall market. Um, maybe some deep in the money calls. If, if they do miss, you will get wiped out. Um, I don't have a feel about whether they should make it. I do know that I like Intel very much, but NVIDIA's got the right chips for everything. Jensen Wong is a genius. Uh, I have said that you want to be long this long term. Uh, if you want to play the quarter, fine, buy, buy half, and then buy half if it comes in. All right, if they beat, does Everest get a treat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I may actually give him a stick, a ligament, you know, a cow ligament. You know, I've been giving him these fish sticks lately. He's not crazy about them. He sniffs them. Sometimes he takes them. Sometimes he doesn't. He always steals one of my shoes and buries it. I always get mad at him. I will let him bury both shoes if he beats the court. Everest, listen up. Jim Kramer, thank you so thank much. You. As always, for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.